Hi, this tip is for someone who's pretty new to golf or you're new to golf and helping someone who has played before. There's a lot of clubs here. There's actually 14 in a full set of clubs. What are they for? Well, let's take a look at them. The longest club we call the driver, or it actually has a number, it's a number one. And you'll see it's quite a bit longer than the rest. Then we have a three. Okay, so you'll see these are numbered and they start to change length with the number. In fact, let's take a look at these irons. And in the bag, you'll see my four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pitching wedge. And then the final ones tend to have a letter. A pitching wedge might have a P and a sand wedge might have an S. Just remember P comes before S. So P is almost like a 10 and the S is like an 11 if you're thinking about them as numbers. Let's look at that in a little more detail. Why does it make a difference? I'm going to pull out a four, a six, and an eight, for example. Right away, you can see there's a different length. The four is a lower number, it's longer. Six is the medium and eight is the shorter. The other part of the club, just to have an understanding, this whole thing at the bottom, no matter what club we're talking about, is called the club head. This area right here with the lines is called the face. So now we're gonna look and see the difference in the face based on the number. So again, I have the longer four, medium six, and a shorter eight. And look at the club head and the face. You'll see the face, the eight, the higher number, aims higher. So start thinking about the numbers associated with what the club can do. A shorter, higher is going to be for shots that are shorter and higher. Longer, a little lower, those are for your longer shots. And of course, when we get to our others, these are the longest. Our number one is our lowest number and our longest. Hope that helps.